So the situation of the Yen's human rights defender and the situation of the funeral expression and the rights of the uh, defending the rights of the people, the situations in all aspects are deteriorating. And not only in my country, but in the region as well. The civil space uh, largely is under control in the region. And most of the country in Southeast Asia, we are still under obstructed or repressed situations. We're not yet opened in terms of civil space. Um, so young people are not the exception in this case. The most important things, the young people, uh, historically, they are always on the front line, defending the rights of the people, always standing in solidarity with the oppressed people, marginalized and um, vulnerable people. So they become the main target for all the oppressed, militarized, um, authoritarian states to target the young people and the young students. Um, in Myanmar currently we have 630 political prisoners, more than 400 people facing trial outside the prisons. And 60% uh, of them are Yan human rights defenders and Yan activists and Yan students. Uh, also, they are the sectors to target uh, because of their distance voices against the current leadership, uh, against the current uh, leadership policy, and also uh, the, the management. So these young people are always the target of the, um, the target online and offline, and they've been harassed. Uh, sexually as well as uh, physically, mentally. So young people are facing uh, a, a significant mental uh, stress and depression, especially when they are aware of the politics. They have no space to speak out what they think truth uh, for, their, for their current situation. So I believe the freedom of expression is really crucial and freedom of expression, if it's not protected, then we felt like we are standing on the broken ground that you can fall off any time. So we have to defend our very own ground, the freedom of expression, so that the young people will be given more chances to uh, think freely, create and innovate. And also we can catch up with the global trends, uh, globalizations, uh, with the technology, uh, with the innovations, with the entrepreneurs, all the advanced technology in the world and uh, in the country with the civil war the young people who are going against the civil war also being harassed and arrested so J, the young journalists are no exception as well when they report the truth from the ground they were J and attack and uh, they were chained and arrested by for many different reasons so it is such an important time for all of us to stand in solidarity with all the decent voices, make sure to listen to them. And for the young human rights defenders, I truly think it is important to pay attention and prioritize the voices of the young people because young people comprise 60% of the population in the region, as well as in my country, they comprise 60% who are uh, those who are under 35. So we need a clear protective policies to defend uh, the rights of the young people to be able to vote um, equally in the, in the local elections, also in the general election, as well as to repeal all the legal provisions that restrict the participation of the young people in the decision-making levels. And also, we need a safe and environment for the young people to freely express themselves, their own daily struggle, their own daily uh, peer pressures and everything. We need safe youth center in the community level, also in the regional and uh, national level.